I've heard the saying that the rich are getting richer and the poor are getting poorer. But why do some Christians ignore this? Some Christians even say it is only when we get to the kingdom of God that is when we will enjoy riches. Hmm. Why do some Christians ignore these riches? If you want to know more, keep watching. Hello everyone, my name is Afalake Janet Oyelami. I can't understand why some people are getting richer every single day from generation to generation. Like Abraham generation, they get richer from generation to generation. But why do some people get poor from one generation to generation? Some Christians even say riches and wealth belong to certain people. Hmm. Is this really true? But before I go deep into today's topic, let me give the keyword that summarizes today's topic. The keyword today says, the first five years of your business or career or dream job, you will meet discouragement, doubt, and giving up spirit on your way. But believing in yourself and faith we see you true to your success land. I'm only going to share three main reasons why the rich people are getting more rich and why the poor are getting poorer. Number one, the rich schedule time for everything they want to do. They don't take their time for play. The rich don't just get busy, but they take step-by-step -step action on a daily basis to achieve any dream they want in life. Most people and some Christians will say, I am busy, I am busy. But what is their busyness producing? Little money or big money? Don't get me wrong, that job or that career might not be what you really want. Are you using that job as a stepping stone to feed your greater dream, which will yield more income in the nearest future. You may have a job that is bringing little income today, but how much are you putting aside to cater for your real dream, your real job, your real desire, your real business you want in life? You might say I'm busy every day, doing the same thing every day, Earning the same money every day, is that really what you want? For example, you might be earning £75 or $75 or whatever currency you have in your country. Maybe you are earning the least of that currency as a nurse. But your desire is to have your own pharmacy. But you are too busy to save at least 5% or 2% of the income towards your pharmacy. What the rich will do, they will save at least 1% or 2% of that income towards renting a shop, buying stuff into their shop for the pharmacy they desire. As you now achieve the pharmacy you desire, then you can leave your nursing. That is when your riches will start to grow more. So Christian and everyone watching me today, don't say you are too busy and forget about your real desire, your real business, your real career you want in life. Let your business produce success. Number two reason why the rich continue to be rich is because they invest in what will bring enough money to them. Hear this truth. You need the sunny spirit and God's direction to do this. If you don't know how God directs you, read the Bible, read motivational quotes, listen to motivational video. God can speak to you through that. We heard what Bible said about Isaac. Isaac invested in the land. He sold in the land. He earned double within a year. Double of what he sold. You will notice that Isaac was planning to leave a particular country because there was farming in the land, but God directed him, stay in that land, sow in the land. He obeyed 
and he earned double of what he sold. Why did I say you need God's direction? It is because there are a lot of fraud online now. After God's direction, research on what you want to invest on and also check the review of the company you want to invest on. This is why the rich continue to get more wealth because they invest into the right business. But before they invest, as a Christian, they listen to God's direction, they research on what they want to invest on and check the review of the company they want to invest on. As a Christian, are you doing this? And last but not the least, number three, the rich get richer because they take risks. Some Christians refuse to take risks to take action towards their dream because of environmental failure or because of the failure they've had before. You know what the rich will do before they take the risks? They believe that the failure they had before is what will make them to achieve a bigger dream in the future. The scientist says 92% of the population will never achieve their dream. 8% will achieve their dream because they tried second time after the first failure. So for example, if you try to apply for a managerial job in your company and you are scared that they might not give you, do it anyway. After the failure, when you try the second time, you will get it. In conclusion, don't say your family is bound to be poor forever. Don't say your family is bound to be on the bottom line forever. You can achieve anything you want in life if you follow this principle. Hope this impacts you. Hope this encourages you to run after your dreams. Speak to you soon. God bless.